Now we're going to learn about cutting up, splitting, and looping parts of a different Apple loop. We'll take the club beat and listen to that. You can tell that it's a four major beat with the fourth major having a little less busy variation. I'm going to place my playhead in the midway point at the third major. Go to the edit menu and select split. You can also do a command T to split the region in two. So now we have two two major loops. I'm going to close the loop browser by clicking on the eyeball icon. Once you've split the loop region, you can actually then loop that fragment of the region the same way that you would loop a regular four bar loop. And so now you can see that we have the first two bars of the loop looped and the last two bars looped also. Now I'm going to double click on one of the regions and that brings up the audio editor and I'm going to make a change to the first loop here and you'll see that that change isn't going to be reflected in the following loops. So I'm going to select this beat and then delete it by either hitting delete or I'm going to go up to the edit menu and select delete. You'll see that the region is gone that I had uh, selected and yet the third and fourth measures are uh, their own loop now. I'll select those third and fourth measures so you can see that uh, that beat is still in there. And you can actually even change your uh, club beat variation by clicking in the upper left hand corner of the region and uh, selecting a different club beat variation if you want to. Now one of the coolest things about these Apple loops is that they always follow the tempo unless you have this checkbox unchecked. This is follow tempo and pitch. So typically you're always going to want that to be checked unless you're going for a specific effect. You can see that now if I uh, go to the LED in the lower center of the screen and raise the tempo, we get a really fast beat. And the same thing happens if I lower the tempo way down, we'll get a slow beat. And that's always going to be the case unless I have the follow tempo and pitch box unchecked, in which case there may be a gap. So you can see that you will typically want that box checked. And after you have your composition done, please check out wellmix.com for all your mixing and mastering needs.